Okay, hi, this is annuity due. So, uh, the only difference between the annuity due and the ordinary annuity is actually the timing of the cash flow. So now, the ordinary annuity, the timing is ending, the annuity due timing is beginning. So that's the only difference between two. So, if you have cash flow, the three-year cash flow, in the previous example here, hundred dollars hundred dollars hundred dollars and interest rate is ten percent that's basically the ordinary annuity now if this occurs at the beginning of the each period then this is end right the tick mark is all end by promise now be beginning of the year one is actually today right and beginning of year two is here beginning of year three is here so it's basically one year sooner for annuity due so to compute annuity due problems uh, there's some you know calculator techniques that you actually need to uh, convert I need to actually change uh, which is called the change mode of calculator so the mode of calculator need to change to end uh, I mean beginning mode from the end mode so the default of calculator automatically, you know, uh, uh, on the end mode, which means that the cash flow you actually put into calculator just assumes that that's basically occurs at the end of the uh, period. Now, to solve the annual due problem, however, you actually change it to the begin mode, BGN mode. So now the calculator for the uh, and the cash flows uh, for these calculators you now all the like occurs at the beginning of the period. So let's look at the calculator again. And if you look at this calculator, there's again second button. So change the mode of calculator, press second. And there's a BGN button here, right? BGN. And if you press this, then you must tap end, right? This means that you are on the end mode. Now let's switch that. Now again, second. So second again. And there's set button. This one. If you press this, then you should have BGN here. And you must have BGN around here. Now let's compute the present value for that. The present value, still the calculator input is exactly the same. So clear calculator first again right and then n equals to now three right so three and you have n equal to three now ten percent interest rate so interest rate is ten now present value we compute and the PMT is hundred right so hundred PMT And we don't have future value, so future value is zero. If you compute the present value, then your present value will be negative $273.55. So, if you put 273000 I mean, I'm sorry, $273.55 today, and if you receive hundred dollars from today for the next three years then you make 10 percent returns so the relation between the OA and AD is basically this one right cash flow exactly same interest rate is same but occurs one year sooner so which one has greater value the so first of all you know the present value of OA is $248.69 and present value of AD is 273.55 right if you compute the future value you know using the calculator you you must confirm that but it's going to be $331 and $364.10 so if you look at that, the PV of AD is greater than PV of OA, future value is the same, basically because 
today's value hundred dollars is more valuable than tomorrow hundred dollars all your cash flow value more because of time value you know the interest rate is 10 percent so less interest rate is like negative like or non-positive you know all your dollar always value more than later dollars you know so and the only difference between two cash flow is the timing and and you already do all your dollars so always greater value for annuity due than ordinary annuity. Future value calculation, you probably confirmed that, you know, okay? So, each payment, you know, annuity due comes one period sooner, right? And it must have higher present value or higher actual future value since to this dollar valuable more valuable than tomorrow dollar and this is the general relation present value of AD is present value of ordinary annuity OA times one plus interest rate because in actually just a one time one year difference one this factor actually add a value for one year differences future value of annuity is also future value of ordinary annuity times one plus R one plus I so again, here, there's another way to compute the annuity due problems. Now, previously, we convert the mode of calculator, right? By the way, you need to do it again, this one, second BGN, second set, again, to back to the end mode all the time after solving this problem, since it, you know, once you uh, change the mode of calculator, this BGN, then it always just assume that the cash flow occurs at the beginning of the period and other problems probably most of them are end mode you should use end mode so you do not forget you should not forget to uh, change the change back to the mode of calculus to the end by just the second BGN then second set again so this BGN is gone however there's another way to Compute the value of annuity due without changing the, changing the mode of calculator, and I like this way more better because you know, and then I don't need to change the mode of calculator. I don't really need to change it back to the end mode so that I you know I avoid the problems and mistakes. You use these general relations. You know, first compute the present value or future value of ordinary annuity first, and then just to multiply by the one plus interest rate then you're going to have present value or future value of annuity due and you can confirm that using these numbers too actually so this 273.55 is equals to 248.69 plus 1 plus 10 percent 364.1 equals to 331 times 1 plus 10 percent so that's how to compute the present value or future value of annuity due it's up to you. First choice, change the mode of calculator. Don't forget, change it back to the end mode after using it. Second, just use this formula. So, just compute the present value of the future value of all your annuity first, and then use change it like uh, using this formula. So, you know, it's up to you. I usually usually use the second way. I don't want to change the mode of calculator because I don't want to make a mistake. You know because I do not change it back to the end mode. All right. The next clip, we're gonna talk about the loans, okay? So, see you on the next clip.